Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The Energy Minister Philip Powell says there is no intention to disband the Energy Monitoring Committee. The Sunday Gleaner quoted unnamed sources as saying the government would be disbanding the committee this week. A bailiff this morning seized three JUTC buses because of the failure to honor a court order to compensate several victims of a 2010 crash. In January, the Supreme Court ruled that the bus company should pay out $48.7 million for injury to four passengers. The leadership of the Northern Caribbean University on Monday held an emergency meeting over the suspension of a student for her role in a cheerleading routine. 21-year-old Shasha Gay James has also been banned from all student activities for the remaining two years she has at the university. The corruption trial against Senior Superintendent of Police James Forbes continued this morning with Deputy Commissioner of Police Linval Bailey taking the stand. DCP Bailey told the court that SSP Forbes was a man of integrity and discipline. In sports, Jamaica secured the last semifinal spot of the four-day regional championship by defeating combined campuses and colleges by 59 runs today at the 3 W's Oval in Barbados. In your weather forecast, Tuesday morning will be mainly sunny. In the afternoon, there will be isolated showers mainly across hilly inland areas of central and western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.